Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of The Orange Room. It's going to be a quiet episode, perhaps filled with more filler and commercial breaks, and that's simply because my guest today, the uh, marketing manager from McCain Frozen Pizzas, failed to show up. So there you have it. Uh, my producer's been phoning them repeatedly and they haven't been answering the call, so there's nothing else we can do. I, I guess we can still talk about the, the frozen pizzas. Uh, I guess McCain sold off the pizza division and uh, I don't know if they're making them for a black market or, or overseas market. Uh, I don't think they are. I've had someone staking out the factory over on uh, Highway 3 and there's been no sightings at all of McCain mini frozen pizzas. So I can only assume they've completely ceased making them. It's a terrible tragedy for all of us that grew up uh, eating McCain frozen pizzas. I mean, first it was uh, beep orange juice disappeared and then uh, Tahiti treat pop and now McCain mini frozen pizzas. I mean, there's really not much left to live for, is there? I mean, when you really think about it. Anyway, we'll be back right after, the, after this uh, short commercial break. What's happened to all the Taco Bells anyway? They used to be everywhere and now they're nowhere. I'm hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad to be alive too. <laughs> On behalf of uh, the crew and CPA, we'd like to uh, welcome you to Las Vegas. We hope you enjoyed the flight. I've been a cabin steward now for about 18 years with CPA. And uh, a point of interest, I'm Frank Sinatra's cousin. Uh, the same top the same. Would someone shot that baby up? I'm trying to do my landing speech here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we taxi to the gate, I'd like to remind you to keep your carry-on baggage stored and your seatbelts fastened until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Also, uh, just a reminder, Donnie and Marie tickets are available down on the arrivals level. They're performing at the Flamingo tonight. I know I'm going to be there. <laughs> So once again, on behalf of all your crew and CPA, we hope you enjoyed your flight today. We hope to see you again next time. Well, thank you and welcome back. Um, during the break, my producer just said that since we don't have a guest on the show today, uh, he'll be, uh, there's going to be an O. Henry bar underneath all of your seats for everybody in the audience. And oh, Henry Barr. I'm sure that's going to make all 17 of you very happy. So anyways, um, another topic I'd like to talk about now is um, craft dinner. Uh, a lot of people may not know this, maybe the kids have noticed, but do you remember it used to be good? And uh, now it's not. I don't know if uh, Canada banned some some chemical or, or food coloring or, you know, I'm not sure, but it's, it's awful. It tastes like cream of cardboard. So I'm not quite sure what they've done there. Maybe I'll make a few phone calls and uh, see what I can find out. And finally, the final topic I wanted to talk about on today's show, and, and I sure wish I had a guest here to back me up on this, but it's regarding the price of personal lubricant. I mean, what is this stuff, liquid gold? I thought it was uh, dried up dinosaurs and plant matter. I, I mean, why is it $9 a bottle? And like the box is this big on the shelf, but you open it up and it's like this little tiny bottle like this. And like you go through that in like a couple of days. <sighs> anyway, 
I have an embarrassing story uh, about the last time I bought lubricant, but maybe we should take just one more commercial break first. Come on, you guys, the sun's already up. It's gonna be a golden day. Let's see. Oh, those golden grahams. Oh, those golden grahams. Crispy, crunchy graham cereal family breakfast treat. Oh, those golden grahams. Oh, those golden grahams. Golden honey, just a touch with grahams. Golden wheat. It's a great tasting part of a complete breakfast for the whole family. Try this golden grahams and have a golden Golden Grams is a high source of riboflavin and pyroxidine. Get yours today. And come. I'll be far away. Before October 17th. Oh, hello and welcome back. Um, so I was going to finish off by telling you my embarrassing story about buying personal lubricant. Um, I was at Walmart and I went to the aisle and uh, I, I turned the corner and there were about 90 old people standing around, milling about, staring at things on the shelf. And I thought, oh my God, I can't... I can't just barge in there and grab a, a box off the shelf. So anyway, I, I spent about five minutes reading the instructions on a, on a, on the back of a box of band-aids. And uh, finally, I, I had my opportunity. So I made my way over there and, and, and I grabbed the box and threw it in my basket and I ran away. And then I thought, I'm definitely going to the self-checkout with this, I mean. <laughs> So I did, I went to the self-checkout, and do you believe it, that particular item, I scanned it, and the machine said, call the cashier, call the cashier. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was mortified. Anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure that won't happen again next time, and I'm going to have to be going again soon, so I'm really hoping not. So I think that wraps up today's show. So thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, I promise you next week or, or in two weeks, whatever the budget allows, I will have a guest and some interesting topics. I'm open to ideas. We'll see you again next time on The Orange Room. Oh, shut up, you bloody bastards.